When it comes to your sex lives, it turns out that all of you are liars, men and women. You're all lying when you talk about how many people you've been with, what you like in bed, all sorts of things like that. And we're finding this out now, thanks, uh, Rick, by the way, to a study at Ohio State University. Um, so we're going to tell you some of the, the details that they found. But basically what they did was they hooked up a bunch of college men and college women to uh, lie detector tests. Some of them on lie detectors, some not on lie detectors. And then they asked them about their sexual histories. Mm -hmm. And they were able to see the differences between those two groups based on whether or not... It turned out it wasn't actually a lie detector, but they thought it was, which is just as effective, it turns out. They were able to see the differences between those two different groups. And so uh, you, you've read this study. What, what mm -hmm. did you think about the findings? I, I wasn't surprised. There is a double standard when it comes to uh, you know sex. And people do have a stereotype based mm -hmm. on that person's gender. And you know what? It's not only, I feel like it's a double-edged sword. Because, and I do think that men fall into this too. Whether if you're a girl and you say that you have too few of partners, you're a prude. Yeah. If you have too many partners, you're labeled as a slut. Mm -hmm. And it's just tough. I think talking about sex in What's general is tough. What's the perfect number? I don't know. I don't know what the perfect number is. I think it's really personal. Yeah. And I think just as long as that you, if you and your partner decide to talk about previous partners because i know that's something that, that that gets brought up in every conversation when you start dating someone how many people you've been with you don't have to disclose that number but you guys need to mutually have that conversation and say mm -hmm. do we want to talk about our past you know and obviously make sure that that you're both clean that you're not coming in there with stds that's very uh -huh. important yeah you know but it's a i mean it's a touchy subject most people do lie yeah you want it to be in the right circumstances that discussion you don't want them to ask you how many people you've been with based on they just looked at your crotch and they're like how many people have you been with? Oh my god. Uh, that's disgusting. So, <laughs> that's uh, let's give you some more hard details about what actually they found out in this study. So let's bring up the, the quote from, uh, this is, uh, uh, Terry Fisher of Ohio State University says, women not linked up to the lie detector reported having had fewer sexual partners, being older when they lost their virginity, and having had fewer one night stands. So that's for women. Uh, men were actually the opposite, and that's what's so interesting about this. They're, they all lie, men and women, but they lie in different directions. The men, uh, linked up to the lie detector, reported having had more sexual partners, being younger when they lost their virginity, and having had more one-night stands. Hmm. And so I think that this is kind of sad. I mean, I feel bad for these guys. Like, I personally been with like a hundred women. I started when I was ten. Uh, and all of them were one night stands. None of those women ever wanted to sleep with me again. I don't um, get it though, because I, do, do girls really, when they meet a guy and the guy's like, I've been with all these chicks, does it turn them on? I'd mm -hmm. much rather be with a guy that's been with very few girls and maybe even lost his virginity at a later age. Zero. Come on, let's make this happen. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think that's more impressive. It shows mm -hmm. that you value yourself, you value the girls. Yeah. You're not out there trying to get laid constantly, which means mm -hmm. you're not a douchebag. Yeah. So I, don't know why guys feel like that they need to lie to make it seem like that they've been with all these different chicks. Yeah. Well, let's bear in mind, so I, I don't think here that the guys are necessarily lying to the women mm -hmm. because I don't think that they talk about it that much. Now, maybe if the conversation does come up, they'll lie. I so can sort of buy that. Bro code, I think that like, yeah, exactly. It's like, dude, bro, I slept with like 10 girls last night. That's probably what it is. Because they want to seem cool. They want to seem macho. And but are, do and the that. good guys do that? Tell me, like, when you're out with your know. friends, because you're a good guy, when you're out with your friends, would <sighs> you, <laughs> would uh -huh. you have that conversation with your, with like Rick? Would you I be might. like, Let's test it. Hey, Rick, uh, how many one night stands have you had? <laughs> At least 4,500. 4,500? Yeah. 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 You, you kept track? Yeah. Yeah. It's How do you keep track of 4,500? That's impressive. It's mm -hmm. a two-a-day is what it is. Okay. Yeah. I think that's more like a four-a-day. He's just riddled with STDs over there. Yeah. That's, why we, that's why we put him on the other side of the room, actually. <laughs> yeah. Because of the Condoms. GD. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like I, I think that it's mostly guys lying to girls, or guys got lying to guys. And I imagine for the whole lying about how many people they've been with, that's probably more the, for the girls. Mm -hmm. I think they're lying to the guys. Maybe lying to girls, too. Like when you talk to your female friends, mm -hmm. do you lie about how many guys you've been with? No, I'm honest, but in the past, I, I have You're an very, I but think. I have very few partners. I do, mm. and I'll say that. And it's, you know, I, I mean, what I was. What if we hooked you up to a lie to, to You can. I mean, I. This is a very personal thing, but I wouldn't lie about it. If uh -huh. I would tell you after this, I'll tell you exactly. Okay, we'll talk. And the thing is, is I, I have been in, um, you know, a few exclusive relationships, yeah. and then when I was single, I was like a workaholic. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have that, to be fair, I didn't have that time to like go out and like spread my wings per se. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, wings. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But I mean, I don't, to some of my friends that have had a, a large number of sexual partners, I don't judge them. And mm -hmm. it, I don't think that they lie to me when we have a conversation. Maybe it's because they know I'm not going to judge them. Yeah. But I guess if you're, you're sitting... You're more open-minded than most Yeah, people, if you're yeah. sitting next to someone and that person is judgmental, 
yeah, I guess if I did have a lot of sexual partners and I'm sitting next to, to like a devout Christian, maybe I would feel embarrassed to tell them how many people I've slept with. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay, so let's run a little experiment. Uh, the people watching this, go in the comments, tell us how many people you've slept with, ah! how many one night stands, and I'll try to determine which of you are lying to us. <laughs>